guys, so I filmed this video a while ago, but I'm just getting to editing it, so I hope you enjoy, even though it's very late. Hey guys, so yesterday I got these shoes to match my dress for prom, but I thought it was kind of plain, so then I spent like an hour yesterday kind of glue on the rhinestones, and I think they look a lot better, so I want to do it for this shoe as well. Then I'll try and figure out what I want to do for these straps because I don't know if I want to do like one row or like fill it completely. Um, we'll see. Yeah, um, I used E6000 glue and like a toothpick and then I just put the rhinestones into a tray. So yeah. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's kind of late now, but I finished the shoes. I think they look really good. Um, I filled this part in and then I added these straps because I felt like the heel part was always slipping off. But yeah, I think they look really good and they match the dress. Right now I'm working on the skirt part of the dress. Um, I'm adding like extra flowers because there are some parts I had less. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long. today and I just want to redo my nails they look like this right now but I'm gonna redo them and show you how I do them yeah for my nails I like to use this Sally Hansen cuticle remover and a cuticle pusher to remove the dead skin around my nails and to push back my cuticles Now, I'm just using some rubbing alcohol to wipe off all the dead skin. To make the gel last longer on my nails, I like to gently buff the surface and then wipe with some rubbing alcohol. The 
The next step is to paint a thin layer of base coat on all of my nails and cure for 30 seconds. Now I'm using this polish to paint my nails. I got this on Amazon and I love it because the nudish pink goes with everything. Um, just make sure to get rid of the polish on your skin before curing to avoid lifting. And here you can see that I paint the tip of the nail before the cuticle to avoid polish pooling near the cuticles. I'm just painting the second coat and for the second coat I usually paint it a little bit thicker so that the polish is more opaque. So I wanted to add this bow, so right now I'm figuring out where I want to put it. And I'm going to be using this nail glue, just put a dot in the middle of the bow and set it aside for now. Then I'll just be using this top coat to paint a layer on all of my nails. I'm carefully placing the bow where I want it and then I'll cure all of my nails for 30 seconds. To make the bow more sturdy, I'm adding top coat near the edges of the bow and I'm adding a second layer for the rest of the nails. And here is the final result. Hey guys, so grad was good last night and I'm literally supposed to leave in like 10 minutes to go to Sarah's house to get ready for prom but I wanted to add like flowers to my nails to match my dress so let's do that really quick. I'm using these flowers that I got on Amazon and similar to the bow, I start with a layer of top coat then I will go in with the nail glue and for the nail glue, I kind of just put it where I'm going to be placing the flowers. So just dolloping drops on there and carefully placing the flowers on top. Now I'm adding nail glue to the centers of the flower so that I can glue on the little bead that goes in the middle. curing that for 30 seconds and I'm just going to repeat the exact same steps for my thumb as well
are my finished prom nails. 